Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the hoods, starting down from his cave with a sow, Grinch frowned at the warm light windows below in their town, for he knew every who down in who bear beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe list. And they're hanging their stockings. He snared with a sneer, tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously thumbing. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew, all the cool girls and boys would wake bright early. They'd rush for their toys. And then, all the noise, all the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, 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 noise. Then the hoods, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who pudding and rare who lost beast, which was something the Grinch could stand in the list. And then they do something he liked least of all. Every who down in who built the tall and the small, who stand close together with Christmas bell ringing. They stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. They sing, and they sing, and they sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of the whole Christmas thing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole, whole thing. Why for 53 years I put up with it now? I must stop the Christmas from coming. But how? Nice. Next. Right. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus head and a coat, and he chuckled and cocker. What a Grinch! What a great Grinch trick! With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since Reindeer are scarce. There was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I will make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Then he took some red thread and he tied a big hole on top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some or empty socks on a lamp shaker sleigh and he he charred up or max. Then the Grinch said, Get up on the sleigh stop down toward the homes who where the whose sleigh snows in their town. All their window were dark, quite snow filled the air. All the hoods were a dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house in the square, this is stop number one. The old Grinch crossed his and he climbed to the loop, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But the Santa Claus to it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once, for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace, flew, where the little whose stockings all hung in a loop. 
This stocking he green are the first thing to go. Then he slid up and slung, with a smile most unpleasant, around the whole room. And he took every present, popgun and bicycle, roller skate, drone, checkerboard, tricycle, popcorn, and plums. And he stopped them in bags. Then the Grinch very nimbly stopped all the bags one by one up to chimbly. Nice. Yes, next. Then he slung to the ice box. He took the hoof's beast. He took the hoof footing. He took the roast beast. He cleaned out the ice box as quick as so fresh. While the Grinch even took their last cannibal hash. Then he stopped the foot of the chimney of green. And now, green the Grinch, I will stop up the tree. Then the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shoot. When he hauled to, when he hauled, hauled the small sound like the coo of the dog, he turned a loud bass, and he saw a small fool, little silly low fool, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny fool daughter, who got, uh, got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She started at Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know that our Grinch was so smart, so smart and so slick. He thought of the lie and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot? The fake sun, sun cross light. There's a light on this tree, then one right on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. My, I will fix it up there, then I bring back here. And his feet for the child, then he pat, patted her head. And he got her a drink and he sent her to bed. When And when Cindy Low who went to bed with a cup, he went to the chimney and stopped the tree up. Then the last thing it took was the rope for their fire. Then he went up the, tree, went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls, he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the and the one specter of food that he left in the house was the crumb that was even too small for the mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was quarter past done. All the hoods steal a bed. All the hoods steal a snooze when he packed up his lad. Packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, and the tinsel, and trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with this road to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the hoods, he was graciously humming. They're finding out. Now that no Christmas is coming, they're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the hoos down in Whoville will all cry, boo-hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low. Then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why? This sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry, very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing, without any present at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch bit ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or tags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. 
Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Hubir they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch cup, the roast beef. Oh, God. Very good, guys. Very nice. Have a seat. Really well done. Everybody work.